when it comes to trying to share scripture with people, a lot of in, in the modern day, a lot of people think that this is new information. Like we actually have believers in the modern day thinking that the stuff we're talking about, Wes, is actually just our modern interpretation of the scriptures. But it's not even close to accurate, is it? Because we have like people from the past, David Ward, Wardlow Scott from 1901 and his in his writing to Terra Firma. Uh, do you want to read this? Do you want me to read sure. this? Yeah, he said, upon the principle, as taught by scripture and common observation, that the world is not a planet but consists of vast masses of land stretched out upon level seas, the north being the center of the system. It is evident that the degrees of longitude will gradually increase in width the whole way from the north center to the icy boundary of the great southern circumference. That's <laughs> So he can read his Bible in 1901 and be someone that's uh, trying to explain observation from the earth and come to the same conclusions that we are in 2021. It sounds like God's word's consistent. What do you think? I I would agree, especially if you uh, if you read it and know it, study it, and learn it. <laughs> for real, for real. All right. So speaking of God's word, we got a couple of scriptures we want to review real quick. So we're talking about the end of the earth, right? And we and of course we want to go to the word first to show people like you know there's a precedent here. We're not just making this up. This isn't Wes and I's interpretation. You know what I'm saying? So we've got First uh, Enoch 33 verses one through three. Enoch tries to say in his vision, when he's being shown the whole creation, he says, and from there I went to the ends of the earth and I saw their great beasts, each different from the other. And I saw birds also differing in appearance and beauty in the voice and one differing from the other. And to the east of those beasts, I saw the ends of the earth whereon the heaven rests. Uh, Wes, what, what is that word heaven? We've talked about this a few times. What? But just I for the viewer, in case they've never seen us before. As far as I can remember, Genesis 1.8 defines it when it says that God called the firmament heaven. And we went over that in episode one. If you haven't caught That's it, right. go back, check it out. Definitely. The firmament is what he saw resting upon the earth. So from what I can understand, we're going we're gonna to review Amos 9.6 as well in just a minute. But the firmament is described as a solid vaulted structure encapsulating and closing where we live on this plane of the earth is a part of the creation model. So uh, there's multiple firmaments and we live underneath the one that was made last on day two. And so this is, this is what that word heaven is actually the word heaven was the name given to the structure called the firmament. And this is what Enoch is looking at at the ends of the earth. <laughs> 